the Trump administration has also made the claim that Russia is very much involved in propping up the Maduro regime. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo told my colleague Wolf Blitzer yesterday that there was a plane waiting to take Maduro to Cuba, but the Russians talked him out of it. What exactly is the Russian role here? Look, the Russians uh, like nothing better than putting a thumb in our eye. They're using the Cubans as surrogates. Uh, they'd love to get effective control of a country in this hemisphere. It's not ideological. It's just good old-fashioned power politics. Uh, that's why we have the Monroe Doctrine, which we're dusting off in this administration. It's why the president indicated last night that the Cubans better think long and hard about what their role is. What has we're going to continue uh, to... What has the president said to Vladimir Putin on this subject? We've made it clear to the Russians in a lot of conversations at a lot of different levels, uh, some of which are going to continue today, why we think this behavior is unacceptable to us. Those conversations are going to go on, but we're not going to limit ourselves to conversations. We're taking steps. We're putting more pressure on the Maduro regime. The effect of the economic sanctions already imposed are drying up revenues to Maduro. He won't be able to pay the service members. He won't be able okay. to put gas in their Jeeps. Uh, this is having a profound effect. And it's a cumulative effect over time. Has the president specifically spoken to Vladimir Putin about Venezuela? I, I don't want to get into the specifics of the president's but conversations. Isn't it important? I, I, don't, I, I do want to ask, though, isn't it important, though? This is such a big issue for you. It's such a big issue for the administration. It's such a big issue for America and South America. If this is a priority, doesn't it matter whether or not the president has addressed it directly? I, I think the president is addressing it directly all the time. You, you read his tweets, I'm quite sure. He talked uh, in a tweet last mm -hmm. night about a possible embargo to Cuba. We've made it very clear to the Russians. There's no misunderstanding mm -hmm. in Moscow. That I am very clear. Uh, what does the, I, I understand the president does intend to st speak to Vladimir Putin today. Is that correct? Uh, look, I, I said before, I'm not going to get into the specifics to that. I think uh, Secretary Pompeo will be addressing his counterpart. We've had a lot of conversations with the Russians, that's I, for sure. I, I just, because I'm reading a transcript of an I interview just, yeah, you just did I on guess, Fox look, News. You, you, you don't want to ask me about Russian collusion? No, no, I do, not at all. Not even a little. I mean, no, 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 just, no, Ambassador. You're, mis you're, you're misrepresenting. Let's talk about you're, you're mis I absolutely want to. I just want to understand. Uh, what the president has done with, because Russia clearly played a role. Mike Pompeo was talking about it yesterday, uh, and, and, and you were mentioning the Cuban relationship. I just want to know what diplomatic pressure the president will exert. And I understand you said moments ago there is a call scheduled for today between the president and Vladimir Putin. Is that correct? No, that's, that's not what I said. I okay. said there was a call scheduled between Secretary Pompeo and his counterpart. You can look at your transcript. Okay. Um, I, I, I will go ahead and look at that transcript again. The part I'm looking at right now, it says Ambassador John Bolton told Fox and Friends that President Trump will call Vladimir Putin today following Pompeo's claims that Russia stopped Maduro from leaving Venezuela. Um, but we'll take another look at that. And as you said, that's only one of the issues here. What's the status of yeah, Leopoldo Lopez? That didn't sound Lopez? like a transcript to me. It sounded like a report. Okay, uh, this, is, this is not, you're, you're missing the, the, the overall point here. And I'm not trying to pick a fight on no, Russia the, at the all. The one who's missing the point is you. We, okay. we could have Ambassador, a conversation Ambassador, about Venezuela. And we are, and, and look, and we are, and if you, you let me, do. and if you let me ask the next question, I think one Go of the right most ahead. dramatic ro moments yesterday was seeing Leopoldo Lopez uh, in public in the morning. I found that so surprising and unexpected. He had been released from his house confinement by the end of the day, he went first to the Chilean embassy and then I think now to the Spanish embassy. What's his status tonight? Uh, look, the, the fact is that all of the leaders of the opposition are in danger because of the uh, authoritarian Maduro government. And they have taken steps really over the last three months uh, to protect themselves in various ways. Uh, Leopoldo Lopez uh, was out of house arrest for the first time in a long time yesterday. Uh, and he was understandably concerned about what uh, the Maduro regime might yeah. do. So we don't get into discussions about where they are or what they're up to. Uh, we'll see what happens today. I want to play uh, something that Mike Pompeo did say just a short time ago. And this is a question you are asked regularly and has to do with military intervention. You've said that all options remain on the table. Let me just play you the exact language the secretary just used. The president has been crystal clear and uh, uh, incredibly consistent. Uh, military action is possible. If that's what's required, that's what the United States will do. We'd prefer a peaceful transition of government there uh, where Maduro leaves and a new election is held. But the president has made clear in the event that there comes a moment and we'll all have to uh, make decisions about when that moment is and the president will ultimately have to make that decision. Uh, he's prepared to do that if that's what's required.
the language the secretary used is if that is what is required. Broadly speaking, what would require U.S. military action? Well, first, I, I agree with everything Mike just mm -hmm. said. Uh, I think the president has been crystal clear. And it's one uh, element of a successful strategy is that you don't necessarily telegraph to your potential opposition uh, what you're going to do or when you're going to do it. We have said repeatedly as well, as Mike said, we want a peaceful uh, transition of power. The Russians could assist that. Uh, the Cubans could assist it by returning to Cuba. Uh, we're going to continue to work on that basis, but uh, we're having a, a effectively a special meeting of National Security Council principals later today, and I'm sure we'll be talking about a lot of steps. Uh, very quickly, two last questions. Do you expect that Maduro will be in power at the end of today? Uh, you know, I don't know uh, uh, how one can predict that. I think, as in the case of many authoritarian regimes, what looks like a pretty uh, imposing structure, sometimes one kick at the door and the whole rotten edifice falls down. All right, let me, and just in closing, because again, I, I don't want this to be a, a piece of contention here. I'm just reading from you the transcript that we were given of the Fox News interview, just so our viewers know and you know what I was asking. Brian Kilmeade said to you, if you want to back off the Russians, you have to call the Russians, as the Secretary of State called his counterpart Lavrov. Has President called Vladimir Putin? If so, what was the call like? Then you apparently said the call is scheduled for today. It's an important call. That's the call. call between Pompeo and his, his counterpart. Okay. The call has not been made as I understand it. Great. Again, that was what the confusion was there, Ambassador. I just wanted people to know because reading the transcript and looking at that exact question and answer, it could leave the impression you were saying the president would speak to Vladimir Putin. I just wanted you to be aware of why I was asking and our viewers as well. You do not know of a specific call coming up between the two leaders. That's correct.